Number 47, determine the molarity for each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D. So in this case, they told us that we had 10.5 kilograms of this whole compound, right? Sodium sulfate and then uh, dehydrate in uh, 18.6 liters. Okay. So we want to find out the molarity. They gave us some values. The formula that comes to mind is this one. It's molarity equals the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Now, easierly, we could think of this as just capital M equals moles divided by liters. That's usually what we're going to write down on a quiz or a test. We don't want to write down this whole thing, right? So we know that at the end of the day, we need to have molarity, capital M equals moles divided by liters. Did they give us a mole or did they give us a liter? Because we're trying to find this, which means that we should know the other two. Well, they didn't give us a mole value, right? They gave us a kilogram, but they did give us a liter. So I know that this bottom has to be 18.60 liters. The thing is, is that we have to first convert somehow the 10.5 kilograms into moles. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things, right? The tricks down here will lead us, right? We know that kilogram is part of the SI units, right? Kilo is a prefix and gram is one of the SI units for a mass. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to convert the kilogram into grams. So how do I do that? Well, memorize this guys. If you want to go to kilogram to gram, right from kilogram to gram, I'm going this way. So all you have to do is just times your number by a thousand or move the decimal place over three times to the left. Doesn't matter. So this would be 10500, so 10,500 grams. Now I have to take the gram value and still try to convert it into moles. So how do I go from grams to moles? Hmm, that's this little trick over here, right? From a gram value, I can go to moles and I label it as X, meaning that you could do any element or compound. It just has to be the same uh, element or compound. So in this case, this is 10,500 grams of Na2SO4-10H2O. So when I find the moles, it's gonna be of the same compound, Na2SO4.10H2O. So I'm going from grams to moles. I'm going this way. All I have to do is take that number and divide it by the molecular weight. So that's another extra step. We need to find the molecular weight of the compound that they gave us, Na2SO4, 10 H2O. Now we've done tons of molecular weight problems, right? We just look on the periodic table and count them up, right? You have two uh, sodiums here, you have one sulfur, you have four oxygens, and then you have 20 hydrogens and 10 oxygens. So you need to add all of those up. So let's just take a little bit of time and just find them out. So I have two sodiums. You can round the number. You could say that sodium is a 23. Um, I'm just going to try to keep it as, as strict as possible, just so that we get the most accurate answer. Uh, we have one sulfur. Each sulfur is roughly 32. Then we got the four oxygen. Okay, each oxygen is 16. Uh, then we have the 20 hydrogen. Okay, and then we have the 10 oxygen. So this should come out to roughly about 322.2 grams per mole. Now... In order to go from a gram to a mole, remember, all you're doing is you're dividing by that molecular weight. So, 10,500 divided by the 322.2. What do we get? Let's see. 
we get roughly about 32.6. So 32.6 moles of the whole compound, Na2SO4 and then 10H2O. Now we finally have the mole value. This is 32.6 moles. Now I have the two values I can solve. Capital M equals 32.6 divided by 18.60. Let's find out what that answer is. 32.6 divided by 18.60. 1.75? So slightly concentrated, roughly about two molarity. And you could say that the unit for molarity is capital M, or you could say it as mole per liter. It doesn't matter. Either one is acceptable. And that's the answer. Woohoo! So guys, that was fun. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next lesson. All right, bye-bye.